Good evening, my true crime fans. It's that time of the month. I'm firing up the grill, and I have some juicy, incredibly acrid cutlets of crime for you tonight. The first one will definitely be juicy and it just reeks of crime and horror. Sierra Hernandez, 20, was reported missing on January 14th and a body believed to be hers was discovered on January 19th. The Polk County Sheriff's Office announced they believed Hernandez had been offed from the planet Earth. We are awaiting confirmation of the identity through DNA at this time. A woman who was allegedly driving Hernandez's car has now been arrested and charged with numerous offenses in connection with Hernandez's presumed death, the public information officer had said. That woman, Daphne Fernandez, 44, was arrested on January 15 and has been charged with the kidnapping and attempted expiration, abuse of an expired body, and accessory after an act of capital felony. A man who has been identified by a witness as one of Hernandez's alleged attackers has also been arrested, but he is charged with offing of a person and other offenses in connection with another case. The man, Enrique Martinez, 26, was arrested January 23 in connection with the November expiration of Adil Rodriguez and has been charged with the first-degree offing of another, tampering with evidence as well as resisting arrest, among other charges. Martinez has not been charged in connection with Hernandez's case, I would say at this time. Hernandez's family members have said that they were arrested when they tried to conduct their own search for the missing woman at a location that had been they had been tipped off about, the news had reported. They were all arrested on January 19th and released on January 24th and had been charged with evidence tampering, while some of the others were charged with trespassing and or armed burglary. Online records have reflected. I would do this over and over again for her, you know, to be put back where we were. Amber Murskazo, Murskazkow. Costco, of one of the family members has been arrested. I would do it for her again. Charges against all of Fernandez's family members were dropped, the sheriff said. However, three of them had lost their jobs after being arrested, so had no job to go back to upon being released. Police found a woman's remains presumed to be Hernandez's in a burnt pile in Fernandez's home. The victim went to the location on January 9th to see a man she'd met online, per the affidavit. The two spent the night there, and after the man briefly left the next day, he alleged to police he returned to see Hernandez tied up. He also alleged that Martinez, who he recognized as the suspect police had been looking for, he claimed he tried to intervene on the behalf of Hernandez. Martinez charged at him, after which he fled. Another witness told police she'd overheard three men discussing how Hernandez had been tied up and was being tortured in Fernandez's home, the affidavit alleges. That piece of meat should just get stuck on its way down to know that people, of course, knew about it, stood by and didn't say anything, and then it allegedly cost this young lady to be expired 
all for wanting to go out on a date. You can just see the crime dripping into the fire and the smoke is getting acrid. A Texas man is charged with murder after allegedly posing as a minor to meet and kill a convicted sex offender. A Texas man is charged with murder after he allegedly posed as a minor to meet and expire a convicted S.A. offender. The Houston Department of Police alleges that on May 2023, James Spencer III, 22, pow-powed and expired his victim, Sean Connery Showers, 37. It is also claimed Showers approached a vehicle in the early morning hours of May 29 and then was pow-pow-pow by the suspect, who was at the time unidentified. Upon further investigation, police arrested Spencer, who admit that he admitted to expiring the victim. Spencer allegedly claimed to be a minor online in attempt to lure showers under the guise of you know what for you know where and by you know who and that turns him into an SA er showers had pleaded guilty possessing child SA material back in 2009, federal authorities said at that time, ABC 13 reports. Showers was sentenced to 30 months in prison, then two years in 2019 for failing to register his SA situation and ultimately caused him to be burnt up like a piece of meat by the pow pow. The next one, this one, the room is already smoking. The grill is just encased in just burnt, burnt meat, charred meat. Elise Suarez, 17, decided to take herself off the face of the earth her authorities. She has a loyal friend background with a sarcastic sense of humor, her family has said. Her on-again, off-again boyfriend, Xander Cashman, has been accused of assisting her in her need to expire herself off the face of the earth. In an exhaustive investigation, authorities are led to believe that Cashman aided Elise in committing her act to cross over to the other side of the universe, according to the statement. Police did not disclose the nature of the alleged assistance. Elise's mother, Alzenza Massey, told the news that Tashman and her daughter were an on-again, off-again relationship over the past two years. The relationship was very meaningful to her daughter, Massey said. She also indicated that she minimized Elise's calls for help when the high school senior approached her a few weeks prior to her expiration. My main message is if your child has the courage to ask you for help, please help them. It takes so much to admit how they feel. Now, this reminds me of that young lady who had to go on trial for the same thing. For, you know, nursing her boyfriend. I don't want to call it nursing, but being there through so much of her boyfriend's uh, wanting to expire himself. And then, you know, eventually being like, hey, piss or get off the pot. And then something happens and then everybody's in trouble. And they had, you know, quite the, I guess, spotty relationship as well. Young love doesn't mean it's true love. That's for sure. The next piece. This one is a small, tiny little piece of meat that just gets burnt up and crispified as soon as you put it on the grill. Before police were contacted, they said in their complaint that a baby's grandfather had returned home and could smell smoke in the home. He later found the baby expired in her crib. A criminal complaint states that the one-year-old was found in the living room lying in a car seat 
just inside the front door and had sustained apparent thermal injuries on various parts of her body. Her was clothed in a bodysuit over a diaper. The clothing appeared to have melted onto the diaper. It was very dirty, possibly burned on the backside, according to the complaint. A baby blanket with significant burnt marks were also found on the property and collected by authorities. According to the release, Police found the child on Friday after responding to a 911 call that reported a non-breathing infant. Upon arrival, officers discovered the baby's apparent burns. Authorities were told that Thomas was putting the child down for a nap and accidentally placed the child in the oven instead of the crib. And that I don't even know how to respond to that one. So those are my current crime platter of acrid situations for you this month. Like and subscribe. Love you all.